so we're taking a break to practice. Ta-da! A pas de chat. That means a cat step. Ta-da! A pas de cheval. That means a horse step. Whoa, whoa! Ta-da! A pas de poly. That means a poly step. Oh! oh. Whoopsie! <laughs> 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 I'm sorry to spoil the fun, girls, but it's time for bed. Did you all brush your teeth? Yes, Mum. Yes, yes Mrs. Mousling. Good, Good night. night. Good night, girls. What are we going to do? Our hats aren't done. Maybe we can finish in the morning. But we have a rehearsal in the morning. We'll have to stay up a little while longer. But we, we promised, promised your mum. Mum says we should always finish what we start. Vicky? Not at all. <laughs> I bet you're just hungry. Let's have a snack. Great idea. Mum always says dancers need good food to keep up their energy. The stars are out, the moon is shining bright. We're gonna have ourselves some fun tonight. Got our teddy bears, some cam in there for us to share. We're dancing in the moonlight Telling jokes, we're playing with the flashlight <laughs> Lots of giggles, having pillow fights And we are still awake Although it's really very late Oops, it's almost midnight At slumber parties, we're so busy having fun There's never time to count the sheep When grown-ups tell us It's night-night, everyone Don't want to hear another peep it's time to go to sleep. La 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 la. It's time to go to sleep. La 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 la. And we are still awake, although it's really very late. It's almost midnight. Don't want to hear another peep. It's time to go to sleep. Hmm, not bad. If I do say so myself. Let's see yours, Vicky. Vicky? I'm not the slightest bit tired. Are you, Gracie? Not really. <sighs> Sometimes, Mum lets me play music to get to sleep. Good idea. This music makes me feel like dancing. <laughs> me too. That wasn't such a good idea. Oh, and all that dancing made me very, very sleepy. Oh, me too. Oh. Rise and shine. Oh dear. Girls, you must have been up very late. Oh. Mum, look. I think we broke the lamp. Luckily, the lamp isn't broken. But you did break your promise. We forgot to sleep, Mum. I did break my promise, and I'm really, truly sorry. My secret valentine has no name. Maybe there's something else on the card that will give me a hint who it came from. Anybody see anything special? It's got lots of pretty green ribbons all around it. Hmm, it certainly does. Now, who do you know with lots of green ribbon? My best friend.
friend Alice. Alice always uses lots and lots of ribbons in her gymnastics routines. Do you think she's your secret Valentine sender? Let's go and find out. Hi, Alice. Happy Valentine's Day. A Valentine for me? Oh, thanks. Angelina made it herself, but I helped. <laughs> it's really nice. And I've got Valentines for both of you. <gasps> oh. oh, thank you. Thanks, Alice, but didn't you send me one already? No, that's not from me. It isn't? But aren't those your gymnastics ribbons? Hmm, those ribbons are green and teeny tiny. My ribbons are big and long and tied to a wand, so I can twirl them in circles like this. <gasps> You're right. These don't look alike. Does that mean someone else is your secret, Valentine? <gasps> That's so exciting! I wonder who it is. Come on, help us look for clues. Lots of Valentines are shaped like a heart, but this one has five hearts all linked together like a paper doll chain. <gasps> Vicky! Vicky makes the best paper dolls. Happy Valentine's Day, Vicky! Oh, thanks! This is so amazing! Almost as amazing as this! Cool! Who gave it to you? Didn't you? No! This is my Valentine to you. I made one giant Valentine for all my friends to share. Can I share too? It's very, very pretty. Of course! But if you didn't send this to me, and Alice didn't send it, who is my secret admirer? Hmm, it says here, your laughter is like music. Do you think it's... Marco! Hi, everybody. Want to hear me play my new bongo drums? Maybe later, Marco. Right now, we're trying to solve a mystery. Angelina's secret admirer? Yes, I admire you, Angelina. But it isn't a secret. And I admire you. And you. And you. <laughs> and you too. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day, everybody. Happy Valentine's Day too. Thanks, Marco. Yes, thank you. But if this Valentine isn't from you... I wonder who it could be from. Miss Mimi! Hello, girls. Hello, Marco. Is everyone having a happy Valentine's Day? Mostly we're having a super mysterious Valentine's Day. I found this on my doorstep, but I don't know who it's from. Oh, my giddy goodness. Look at all the green ribbons and hearts. That's quite a valentine, Angelina. Did you read the poem? I don't need to, Angelina. I already know it by heart. <clears throat> Your laughter is like music. Your plies are divine. Let's dance until we're dizzy. Won't you say that you'll be mine? <gasps> That's absolutely, positively, exactly what it says. How did you know? How? Why, I wrote it, of course. You? You're my secret admirer? That's right. And I'm also Marco, Vicky and Alice's secret admirer, too. I was just on my way to deliver the rest of the Valentines. Thank you, Miss Mimi. And a one, two, three. Whee! Yes! And a one, two, three. Now 
I just need to make my gingerbread house and I'm ready for Dance Like a Cake Day. Add eggs to the sugar and the flour. Blend until light and creamy. What kind of cake are you making, Angelina? I'm making a gingerbread house that goes with my dance. But Hansel and Gretel didn't live in a gingerbread house. I know that, Polly. But the witch locked them up in her gingerbread house. But they tricked her in the end and ran away. I get it. A birthday dance would match a birthday cake. Did I add the eggs? And a football cake would go with a football dance, wouldn't it, Angelina? And a Christmas cake would go with a Christmas dance. Mum, my gingerbread cake is ready to go into the oven. <laughs> OK, Angelina, it won't be long. I can't wait! Angelina, your cake is ready. <laughs> Watch out, girls, it's hot. <gasps> oh, no! I'll never be able to make a gingerbread house out of that. Oh, dear. <sighs> I'm sorry, Angelina. What am I going to do now? Why don't you go and see how your friends are getting on while I try and work out what went wrong with your cake? Okay, Mum. Boom, buddha, boom, boom, tsh. Boom, buddha, boom, boom, tsh. Boom, buddha, oh, yeah! AJ, can I be in your upside down dance? Why not? Thanks, AJ. Oh, oh, Not sideways, Angelina! Move forward! I can only go sideways! Oh, oh. Who ever heard of a silly sideways dance? My gingerbread cake's ruined, Alice. Can I practice with you? Maybe I'll get an idea for a new cake and dance. Of course you can, Angelina. What cake will you make now? <gasps> I'll make a jam roll cake to go with my forward roll. Uh. <gasps> Watch out, Angelina! Oh. oh, oh, I squashed your lunch. Alice, you can do all the steps I make up, even the really hard ones. Alice, Alice and Angelina, Angelina, friends forever! forever. I can't wait for you to be my partner in the showcase tomorrow.
It will be our first time dancing together at your new school. We have to be extra good. I have an idea. What if we end our dance with a twirl? Or a leap? Or a cartwheel? <laughs> Actually, I've made up all the steps for our dance and a cartwheel is not in it. Oh. Okay. Hi, girls. I came up to have a peek at your new dance. Here's a few of the steps I made up. Nice choreography, Angelina. Choreography? A choreographer creates a dance like an author creates a story. Wow! I love being a choreographer. And I know dancing makes little girls very hungry. Yes, I'm hungry. I've brought you some lovely sandwiches. Now I'm off to check on Polly. Thanks, Mum. Thank Mom. you. Poor Polly's in bed. She has the sniffles. My dad says almost everybody in Chipping Cheddar has the sniffles. But we don't. So we, we can, can dance, dance and dance. Yes! Bye, Alice. See you tomorrow. This will be the best dance with the partner showcase ever. Because I have the best partner ever. Attention, dancers. Marco will be my helper today. Don't forget, all dancers in the Dance with a Partner Showcase must have a partner. Vicky's going to be my partner. Gracie and I are going to do a hip-hop dance, Miss Mimi. I'm dancing ballet with Alice, my absolutely, positively best friend from where I used to live. Wow! Alice is coming to the showcase. Yes? Have you and Alice been practising? Yes, a lot. I did some really fancy choreography for our dance. Well, we didn't plan ours. We make up new moves as we go along. <laughs> <gasps> hey, it's fun! We just dance with the music. It's called improvising. We use steps we know, but we don't plan the order. <laughs> so our dance is a little bit new and different each time. <laughs> don't you want to improvise too, Angelina? I don't think so. You and your partner did a wonderful job in the showcase, Angelina. Congratulations! <gasps> Thank you, Miss Mimi. Your choreography was brilliant. And thank you, Angelina. We did all the steps just like you said to. And we didn't make any mistakes. Hooray! Angelina! 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 I can't find our music player and we need it for our showcase dance. I have an extra player at my house. I'll lend it to you. Oh, thank you, Angelina. Thank you. Oh, you saved me. You're such a good friend. No problem, Vicky. Hello, Angelina Ballerina speaking. Angelina, it's Alice. I have the sniffles. Isn't that horrible? So I can't be your partner and we can't be in the showcase. I'm so sorry, Alice. I hope you feel better soon. Oh, Angelina, our dance would have been incredible. <gasps> oh, I hope you find another partner. Alice, I'm so sorry. Guess who? Alice! <laughs> <laughs> you won't believe what I found. <gasps> wow! Our best friend forever wand! I thought it was lost, but I found it in the back of my wardrobe. Remember when we waved the magic wand and we were the fastest running jumpers ever? And when we were... Prima ballerinas? Why don't you come over this Saturday and use the magic wand some more? Oh, yes! <gasps> oh... Oh, no! I can't come over on Saturday. I promised Vicky that... Angelina! I've got your ticket! 
The tap dance concert has sold out, but my mum has got the last two tickets for me and you! <gasps> oh, I love tap dancing! I'm so lucky I could invite a friend! Oh! Oh, you'll have so much fun! Come on! It's the first day of Camembert Junior Chorus! Oh! Thanks for reminding us, Marco! Wow! We all get to sing together! Angelina! I've been waiting for you! You wanted to see my fashion drawings, didn't you? Oh yes! I forgot! Angelina! We're poem partners, and I found the perfect poem. Oh. I thought we could be partners. I wanted to be your partner, Angelina. Oh, sorry, but Marco asked me first. Angelina, come and see my drawings! Phew! Everyone wants to talk to me at once. I feel dizzy. Sorry, I'm coming, Gracie. Hello, class. <gasps> Ready for your first day of Camembert Junior Chorus? Yes! yes! I'll look at your drawings at lunch, okay? Right, everybody. Is this a good position for singing? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. <laughs> la 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 la. La la la. This is hard. <laughs> You're not joking. Try this. La 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 la. La 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 la. That sounds better. Because we're standing up straight. Exactly. Let's stand up tall, side by side, and get ready to sing our song. <gasps> Sorry. Hmm. We're all singing at different times. Is that what a chorus does? No. no. Everyone sings together. Absolutely. Ooh. That looks like our friendship wand. It's called a baton. Now, singers, watch me. And when I point to you, sing. Someone sure to be the someone next to me. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. <laughs> so, if a chorus starts together, should a chorus end together too? Yes! Let's try the last line again. You're that someone once again, and that makes you my friend. Better. Now, everybody choose a partner to sing a note with. Come on, Angelina. Be my partner. Over here. Like me, Angelina. Who should I choose? Mm. Yes, it's Children's Day. I'm so happy. Being happy is what Children's Day is all about, Polly. Oh, look. Daddy set up the Children's Day dolls. I love this one. And I love Japanese music. It's so light and delicate. Yes, because there are only a few instruments at one time, like strings and a flute. <gasps> I absolutely love our Children's Day kites. Look, Polly, did you know that in Japan these are called koinobori? And they're for boys. But here in Mouseland, all the girls have one too. Thanks, Mum. I can't wait to hang this outside when Alice and Marco come over. Mine looks like a big fish. Yes, it's called a carp. A really big goldfish. Koi Nobori remind children to be strong and brave, like a carp. I'm strong and brave. 
Oh. <laughs> Both my girls are. Marco and Alice are here. Let's get this party started. Happy Children's Day. Happy Children's Day, Angelina. Do you like my coin, Nabori? My mum bought me a brand new one this year. It's stupendous. Mm. Oh, that wind is really strong. Are the dolls out yet? Yes. All bow to the Emperor of Japan and of Mouseland. Bow to mine too. For your royalties, you may sing. You may stop now. My Kintaro's a mighty warrior with super mouse strength. I can even lift up a royal empress. <laughs> hey, put me down! <laughs> <laughs> oh, please be careful with those dolls. They're breakable. Okay, mouselings, who's ready to hang your coin, Abori? Me, 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 me! I'm ready! Let's go! Oh my! That is a mighty strong wind! My job! It's broken! <gasps> oh! Children's Day is ruined! Oh, Polly, maybe I can fix the Empress. Really? Really, truly. I'll get started right now. While your mum's fixing the doll, let's go outside and continue with the festivities. Maybe by the time we're done, the doll will be good as new. All right. Children's Day ever! It's great for Koinobori flying! <gasps> Look! Our carp are swimming in the sky! They're so pretty! Hooray! <gasps> uh, hey! Come back! Quick! We have to help Mom! rehearsal for the dance of the sugar plum fairy so give it your all of course i will miss mimi Christmas treat for the party after the show. I'll be bringing my homemade sugar plums, of course. 
Oh, great, yes. Yummy. I'll bring biscuits. Oh, and I can bring some cheese. My mum and I are going to make a gingerbread house. Mmm, sounds good. Marco, AJ, do you want to help us bake? Yes. That'll be cool. Good. We just need to pick up the ingredients first. Come on. And a bag of raisins. Um, and four pints of milk. There. That's everything your mother said she needs. Thank you, Mrs Thimble. You're very welcome. Now, don't spill the milk. Here, help yourself to some candy canes to celebrate Christmas time. Wow, thanks. Candy canes are my favourite. Mine too. Did you know the biggest candy cane ever made was over 58 feet tall? Very cool! I wish this were 58 feet tall. Excellent helpers today. The gingerbread smells so good. Well, thanks to your hard work, we have a gingerbread house for the party. And a batch of gingerbread mouselings to enjoy later. <gasps> Wait, can we have a biscuit right now, please? Pretty, please. Super duper extra pretty, please. How can I say no to super duper extra pretty, please? Enjoy. And good luck at the showcase tonight. <gasps> Aren't you going to have some? What? Oh, Aren't you going to have some gingerbread, AJ? It looks really good, but would your mum mind if I have this apple instead? An apple? I try to eat more fruit than sweets. Especially before a performance. Hmm. You're really not going to eat that? No. Okay, more for us. Is this it? Nope. What about this one? Not there yet. <laughs> it's this one. That's right. How did you know, Angelina? I could tell by all the musical instruments in the window. That's what a music shop sells, right, Dad? That and a lot more. Hi, Mrs Thimble. Hi, Angelina. Looks like we're neighbours now. We sure are. I just hope I won't be hearing a lot of loud music. My ears are very sensitive. Don't worry, Mrs Thimble. If our music is ever too loud, just let me know, all right? I certainly will. Welcome to Mouseland Music. Daddy? That's an electric bass. Can I try it? Mm, you can hardly hear it. You can when you turn on the amplifier. <gasps> an electric keyboard. This needs to be turned on too, right, Dad? That's right. Try it. It can sound like many different instruments. A piano, an organ, even bells. Amazing! And here's a present for each of you to keep. 
<gasps> Recorders. Like the ones we play at school. <gasps> Thank you, Dad. Takes a lot of practice to play the recorder. What's all this stuff, Dad? These are replacement parts for instruments, like extra strings. Mrs. Thimble used to sell them, but she only had room for a few. We have many more different kinds. What are these little dots, Daddy? That's music. Eh? These are called musical notes, and they tell the musician which sounds to play. Oh, this is absolutely, positively the most stupendous music shop in the world. Let's celebrate with a party. A grand opening party. So stupendous, everyone will want to come to Dad's shop. Maybe we could throw a little party for all the neighbours. Yes, and I could ask some of my friends to play music. Great idea. Leave it all to me. Ah, Angelina. Sounds like you're all having fun out there. What are you up to? It's a surprise, and you're invited to see it when it's ready. How lovely. I love surprises. Is there anything I can do to help? Well, actually, there is, Miss Mimi. Have you got any musical instruments we could use? Of course, Angelina. There's a whistle. Mm hmm And... Oh, where are those... Aha, here they are. Some kazoos. And a drum. Thanks, Miss Mimi. How do you get it to make that sound? You sort of hum as you blow into it, like this. That's right. Perfect. We need to decide which song we're going to play. to play. What about this one? Yes! Perfect! <laughs> Stupendous! Now let's march! One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Okay, follow me and turn left. <laughs> <laughs> it's not funny. I wanted to do a parade, not a circus. Huh? I think it's time to go and see how they're all coming along. Is everything all right with your surprise, Angelina? No, not at all. Everyone's doing something different and no one's listening. Hmm, sounds like what they need is a strong leader to show them how to work together and act like a team. Maybe. 
And it always helps to solve a problem by breaking it down and working out exactly what went wrong. You're right, Miss Mimi. Thank you. Ah. Okay, let's begin rehearsal. First, we listen to the music. Hear those violins? Ooh, they sound like sparkly fairy dust. That's right. The violins are setting the scene. Once upon a time, there was a magic forest. And in that forest lived... A fairy named Fern? Mm-mm. Mm. A magic tree. We begin with two échappé sauté, then stop in fifth position. Also in that forest lived... A fairy named Fern? A forest sprite. Alice, chasse around the magic tree and finish in fourth position. Then, all the other magical creatures of the forest enter. <gasps> Not you, Angelina. And dance happily about. What's everyone so happy about? They're happy because Fern the Fairy is here. Oh, that's me! What happened to the music? I haven't danced yet. That was just the introduction, Angelina. And now it's over. But don't go away, Fairy Fern. Your friends want to give you gifts. <gasps> Come along, flowers. You too, Magic Tree and Sprite. Beret in a circle around Fern. Um, did someone say something about gifts? Elf Prince, that's your cue. The bad fairy is coming. Is that what I think it is? The enchanted pillow. As soon as you touch it, you'll fall asleep. No, Angelina, don't don't run away. Take the pillow. Do I have to? Mm-hmm. Now lay down your head and fall fast asleep. But I'm not in the least bit tired. Angelina! <sighs> Angelina, what are you doing? You're supposed to be asleep. I'm sleepwalking. Fairies do not sleepwalk. You're under a sleeping spell. I know. Never to dance again. Maybe I can help Vicky backstage. Hmm. <laughs> it's not fair, Vicky. Everybody gets to dance a lot but me. Alice gets to be a sprite. All I get to do is sleep. Look on the bright side, Angelina. When you sleep, you get to dream. But I don't want to dream. I want to dance. Just like you wanted to paint. I know. It's so much fun. Oh, whoops. Well, being Fern the Fairy isn't fun. It's the worst role in the whole ballet. Maybe you could swap with someone. I tried, but Miss Meanie made me promise to wait until rehearsal was over. Oh, I wish everyone would just hurry up. Angelina! Angelina! Can you come back out here, please? Your forest friends have been looking everywhere for you. They want to break your spell. Break my spell? 
You mean, Fern is going to wake up? Yes, indeed. But she has to fall asleep first. No problem. Watch this. Well done, Fern. Very convincing. Okay, magical friends. It's your turn. Now what? Now you leap to your feet and dance. I dance? That's right. You dance and dance and dance. Excellent, Fern. Okay, sprites and magic trees, take Fern's hands and join in. Hear the music? It's getting louder. That means the prince is coming. I slept and slept and slept. But now I get to dance and dance and dance. Miss Mimi was right. My part was important, and so was everyone else's. All our parts came together to tell a stupendous story. And that's the best part. 